Hey guys, what is up and welcome to the channel. I'm the Shotgun Shogun and we are back with another figure review. I don't say unboxing because, well, we went to a new format and, well, we just do reviews on them. And speaking of reviews, um, this is the Jean d'Arc lingerie version. So it's pretty much a, a swimsuit definitely a swimsuit which goes with the theme we've had a couple of swimsuits some casual outfits here recently but let's take a look at the box like we typically do again this is going to be another one from funny nights i do have a couple of those and funny nights does a lot of the fate extella casual versions um, and I am definitely digging those. Funny Nights, little hit or miss, but usually they're pretty much a hit. I think I've only had maybe one or two that I've been kind of meh about. But typical Funny Nights fashion, you have the full size figure picture on the side. You've got the close up on the other side. You've got all of the pictures on the back, which is nice because like I always say, if it doesn't have a bunch of pictures on the box, I'm very eh about it. So typical Funny Nights box. So let's get into this figure. Now, if you've seen the Altera version of uh, the Altera figure that I did uh, recently, you will see a lot of similarities in this. Now, there's going to be a different colored base, but as soon as I get her out of here. Um, it, this one's going to be orange, but it's still going to have that frosted symbol in the middle. And it's also going to have some sparkles on the base as well. I do like the, when they're a little bit different. If it's always the same, it's always the same base every single time. I'm kind of like, meh, just give me something. Give me something new. I like that. The, I like the orange. It's definitely a different one. Now, the thing here is I like the windswept hair look. Now, it could just be sat all the way down, but I think that that wouldn't show the action pose. It wouldn't show movement with anything. And that's a really big thing. Now, this Jean looks like me in that she doesn't seem to go outside into the daylight very often because she is about as white as a sheet of paper, um, a white sheet of paper, very, very white. If she were out in the direct sunlight, uh, this figure would, would probably blind you with how white this skin is. Typically with a lot of the figures that I've ran into, they at least like give you like a little bit of tanness, especially if you're gonna be like, oh, hey, check this out. She's basically in a swimsuit. She's going out, she's doing some swimming. Uh, you know, she's gonna get burnt. She needs to put some aloe on for sure. Um, definitely some sunscreen, make sure you get that on. But overall, I definitely am feeling the figure. Uh, it's interesting because there's like this little halo around her hair where it's like white. It's kind of like it goes from like, um, it goes from like a blondish down to like a white around the middle and then back down into a blonde with like very little hair gradient anywhere else. And I don't know what that is. Maybe it's from wearing her crown all the time that that's like kind of worn off on there, like on her hair. But that it seems like a very odd choice. Now I could see if like they did a little bit more gradient in through the hair to kind of make it look like parts were a little bit more lighter blonde than other parts. But I'm definitely not understanding really their their thought pattern on on that one. Uh, one other thing too with the hair further down is it feels like they kind of just caked the paint on. Now that could be just a defect with mine, but there is a lot of spottiness on the paint. Um, it's definitely not a very good paint job on that at all. A um, little disappointing in that. So overall, let's see, we'll talk, we'll talk about the uh, face next. Um, it, the face isn't too bad. Um, they definitely, much like a lot of the other figures, they're really exempt, you know, accentuating the lips on this one. Um, I don't know why she's wearing so much like pink lipstick that she's got going on there, but not going to complain too much. The eyes are pretty good. The eyes are very, you know, are pretty well put together. Um, not too much extra sheen, but not very matte. They're very, very, they're very good. Uh, moving down tasteful amount of boobage here definitely uh definitely pretty nice she's got the spill out from the sides a little bit from the top however it doesn't feel like her top is tight enough from the way that it looks that she would have top spillage 
But then again, I'm also not a top spillage boob uh, bra expert. So, but if you take a look here at the other side though, the reason why I say that is because you have like a little bit of gap here on the, on the back strap, which uh, I feel like would, would kind of, uh, you know, make it seem like it's not the tightest thing in the world. Um, but you know what? Hey, artist interpretation, right? So you do have a little bit here on the back, like the, the sculpting of the actual back muscles themselves. Always a big fan of that. Although it's very hard to see because of just how white this character and this figure is. Going back over here to the front, you do have a nice little bit of that like extra boob cleavage, the kind that you just wanna throw something into um, and get stuck. Or, you know, that's where she could put her Starbucks coffee um, in order to, to make that a holder, because that's a thing. Now, moving down to the jacket, the jacket has quite a bit of movement and feel to it. Now, I don't know if they were trying to like get the feel of like kind of like a white sweater jacket, but the paint again is kind of spotty, not spotty, but like, I don't know, like textured. And I don't know again if that is just a paint defect, like it may be in the hair, but it just kind of feels a little off kind of but i do like the movement in the in the jacket altogether like the whole it's down kind of feel um it's got a lot of very good creases sculpt in it uh, i like the way that she's you know that she has it down around by her elbows type of deal so that's actually pretty nice they did a pretty good job on that uh her hands aren't too bad although i don't know like how or why she's got like one finger on her left hand. Like I'm trying to trying to like imitate it, but I, I literally can't do it with my own hand. So I don't know why she's doing it with her hand. Um, if you at home can can do that, like this thing, like I don't I don't know, like send me a picture of you doing it because I sure can't. Um, you know, like, cause you would think like this, but it's not, it's, it's super weird. It's super throwing me off. Um, her other hand too, is like this weird claw type deal going on. And I don't know why, like she is having like a seizure or something right now. And like, just like clawing up. It's, it's not going to lie. That's definitely like throwing it off uh, for me a little bit. Not only that, but like, if you take a look at her pinky right here, like it's, it's all together. There's like no differentiation there, like at all. So hands, not good, not good. You didn't do very good on the hands funny night, but this butt crease right here, you made up for with this butt crease, like that little bit of like panty crease that you got right there in the behind um pretty good plus you got that little bit of uh you know booty meat kind of crease in there between the booty and the thigh uh so that's pretty good that's pretty good i do like the detail on the uh on the top and actually like you probably can't see it but over here on the side you have like a little bit of uh of top crease as well so that's uh that's kind of neat that's a that's a definitely a decent one. Oh, I see. I see what she's doing with her hand here. So if you can take a look and you can see she is like just her her claw hand is kind of holding her bottoms out a little bit like she's about to just do like a little snap of those uh of those bottoms. So there's there's that there. Uh, I don't know why the rest of her hand is is clawed up, but regardless um, one of the other interesting things that you see here is like, even though they didn't have to, they've got a little bit of the side, the tie for the bottoms, just kind of peeking out, peeking out of the bottom of her jacket there. Um, unfortunately, unlike the Altera, uh, Funny Nights casual version, the shoes, the sandals are very bland. It does have like a little flower here on the top, but overall, little a little more bland i wish they would have done like a little bit better with that maybe like some good wet like some good thick wedges with something on it but overall um i'm gonna i'm gonna rate this one a very very mediocre 
Uh, it's got some good aspects. Uh, it's Jean, so, you know, it's going to be a waifu figure. But for me, I don't know. I'm, I'm going to rate this one like a six. Like, I definitely, definitely don't mind it. It's probably going to be in the, uh, like, 125 to 175 range. And I feel like that's, if you get this for any, for more than, like, 125, I feel like it's not worth more than 125. Like, one, 100 to, like, 125 would be pretty good for this. But anything over that, I feel like you're getting a very mediocre figure for too much money. Uh, I, I wanted to like this because I do like a lot of the other Funny Nights ones, but I feel like there's a lot of things on this that I'm not really getting or don't understand their, their thought process or just don't really like in general. So anyways, if you guys did like this video though, rate it a 10 out of 10 and hit that subscribe button, smash that bell notification and drop me a like and a comment and I will catch you guys on the next one. Take it easy homies, peace.